Well, hello my friends, this is Gladys from Gladys Garden in Heart of a Gypsy. Thanks for stopping by. Today I have a very fun project to share with you and this is my designing team entry for Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Uh, a digital um, online store. Debbie Ann Parent is the owner and she's on uh, Facebook also. And I'll have um, all her links below including the paper that I will be using today. Um, this is the not totally finished product for it but I'm making a teapot and I am using the printable journal kit that is called Tea in Twits and it is let me tell you it is just a phenomenal paper I'm gonna put this away because I you just got to see these pages um, you know we're used to seeing um, digital pages at you know six by six always or five by sevens you know in that range she made this one's huge now so we'll be able to utilize you know eight and a half by eleven pages and they're full and the reason why I printed this whole thing because I've already printed another set to make uh, obviously this album and then all the um, the things that come with it, all the you know ephemera that comes with it I fussy cut it I'm gonna show you this and we'll go over it in a little bit so fussy cut it ready uh, but you got to see the paper to appreciate it um, when I saw it online I thought you very very cute but it's not until you download it and print it that you see the awesomeness of this paper. I love it. And you guys know me, I'm not a very pink person, but this is not just just pink. It has a lot of coral, it has a lot of reds, a lot of grunge into it. Um, right up my alley. Thank you, thank you so much, Debbie. This is just an amazing, amazing paper. I'm going to get or remove all the ones that are little fussy cut areas, and I'll talk to you in a little bit about that. But let's start with this one she's got about eight full pages okay of they look like this so they're ready to be used um, in a journal in a kit uh, like for an album or anything like this I'm definitely going to make a book that's where this puppy is going and look what she did she did like st stitch uh, running stitch all over this area so it looks like you know you sewn over your sewing machine isn't this amazing I love it. I am just in love with it. Look at this other one. So I'm going to show. I'm going to show you all of them, and then we'll get over the start working on the project. Look at this. Isn't that darling? I am in love. I'm in love. Look at this. See, I tell you, it has a lot of grunginess and and black and browns and it, it but at the same time has a flirty side to it. So very impressed look at that that's adorable so this is how many pages yeah so um, this is going to go for one of my um, I'm going to sew a book actually sewing um, sew my journal do some running stitches on end like the Copic stitch and all that that's what I'm gonna do with this um, this um, particular printable kit is going to be my uh, kit that I will be using for the month of October and uh, November so this is my first entry this one right here but you know as I explained to you guys this one now is going to be for my following uh, so I'm set in my mind as to what I'm going to do you know for my entries because this paper just facilitates that it's just so gorgeous you cannot go wrong look at that isn't that amazing love it there's not one part of this I don't like it's just just beautiful 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 look at this so fun and flirty love it you did an amazing job Debbie this is one of my favorites I have to say uh, oh you know who am I kidding they're all my favorites okay so now I'm going to show you all the little all the little add-ons that come in. These are two envelopes that you can. And she's got them dotted in there so you can um, score them and fold them and use them in your kit or album or anywhere you want to. These are little uh, file folder, little mini pages. This is an, a file, so you can even make a mini file with this. You know the cutest thing. And then there's all these other little add-ons for journaling or decoration. It's not beautiful, just gorgeous. Look at this page. 
just amazing just just beautiful so lots and lots of decoration you don't really have to embellish so much with other things because the this kit it's you know full all right so how did I get to this I'll explain the process sorry um, I went ahead and let me get my die cut or my die so you can see it I am using the jumbo the jumbo Aki cut die which is a teapot and it is the jumbo and it measures well it's huge let me see yep hopes if I put it the right way it's about ten and a half wide by sorry by six and a half or six and three quarters uh, tall so it's quite quite big okay so I cut six of those and what I did um, on my Etsy I have them ready to go on my Etsy so within the purchase for my Etsy you'll get six of this which is exactly what I use in here six of this and then you also get two ring binders and um, you don't get paper but if you want to um, and add the, pa the paper then I you know I'll get with you as to what papers you like to have uh, because I cannot cut this one. This is um, her, um, you know, they're, um, they're not commercial use for me to use. I can use them in the, in the, obviously in the project and I can give them away, but I wouldn't be able to sell this one. And I wouldn't sell this one. This is mine. It's so, so beautiful. But anyways, do download it and then cut them. Cut them according to this shape. It wouldn't be bad, you know, to trace this if you buy the die cuts for me and then trace it and then put your own paper. But I can cut your own paper too if you, you know, I have different lines uh, of paper that will go with this and then I can show you. So we'll talk about that. Okay, so I use six of those six of this ones and then obviously I cut 12 of paper this is not her paper line I was just using any um, of the you know papers that I have I think this is um, October afternoon I can't remember but anyways so this is going to go like this I glued it I use mud, mud, uh, mud push for the whole thing so I mud push that and then I put my paper on top do the same thing out of the mud posh and then cover like this okay so once I had six of this ones already covered with the paper and all I went ahead and used my classic gold by liquid uh, leaf so you can see the gold and all the edges and I'll start flipping it over here so you can see they all have it look at that because it just reminds me of fine china when you know you used to see the gold uh, rims into them and I thought they looked so pretty and it just called for it isn't it beautiful so I did all the edges the inside and the outside on both or both sides I use a very small you know a little brush for that and this one is liquid leaf and it's called classic gold that's the one I use for this they have many tones of gold so whichever you prefer that's the one I use once they were nice and dried I went ahead and mud pushed them on top you know with the same thing so because I wanted them to be very sturdy and protected I wanted to protect the the paper plus it brings out when you put um, you know a coating of any matte medium or mud push or anything like that it the colors of the paper of your patterns just come out alive and that's what I wanted to do with this paper because it's so gorgeous I wanted to find ways to complement the paper not obscure it in any ways but look at this I mean it's just just amazing look at all the beautiful beautiful designs she's got you just cannot go wrong let me tell you you cannot gorgeous gorgeous all right so that's what we have now <clears throat> this one it's ready for me to decorate and that's what I'm going to do next but I just wanted to show you a quick how you know I got to this point which it wasn't difficult but I just wanted to show you the steps and how that you can um, you know obtain those uh, teapot um, dies so these are all my um, fuzzy cuttings that I did and when I printed all this ones so 
if a page was like this, uh, before I cut it, I mud posh them, you know, the whole thing, let them dry, then I cut them. Then you don't have to uh, put any any uh, matting afterwards. It's all ready and it's nice and sturdy to work with. That's how I do all my fussy cutting, okay? So I put my mud posh, let it dry, and then I do all my cuttings. I did all this once already, so I'm going to show you. These are the big pieces right here. Let's see how nice they have nice lustered. Look at that. Oops, sorry. And these are all those baby mini files, and those cute. There's that. These two. This this ones. This little advertisements. Oh, just gorgeous. And then I'll go over some of the so I went through whatever I have left over and if I didn't have left over I just printed some more that's basically what I did because I wanted to get those nice beautiful um, you know ephemera and um, these are the things that I'm going to be putting onto my um, album so I did that that so I fussy cut it all those things let me see if I can move this so you can oops let me get let me put a white page underneath and that way you'll be able to appreciate it more. There it is. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? This I am torn between this one and this one's for the front. I'm not so sure what I'm going to do. I can't put both of them, they won't fit, but I want to. There's three of those. And this one's I cut them with I'll tell you which one was it. It was the big one. And where did I put it? This one and you know I hate that they don't put numbers on this to tell you what size they are or do they and I don't know where. It's the very big very big one. It's the Fisker, so let me see what this one measures and then I'll be able to to tell you. I think this one measures one and three quarters, I think, something like that, because it was just perfect for this one. Yeah, it's about one and three quarters. The, I think it's the, I don't know if they have a two. This is not a two, because I don't think it was a two. Or it could be a two. I don't even know. It could be a two. But anyways, I cut those with that, so they come out nice and clean. And look at that little teapot with a birdie on top. Look at this little cup with the steam coming out. I mean, I'm just going to go nuts playing with this. There's those. Look at this girl playing with her cat. An amazing, amazing one. Birdie on top of a um, bird cage. There's another little cat, and these are the little whimsical cats. I think they're adorable. And let's see, there's a ticket there with a bird in there, some more flowers, a cupcake, a bigger cupcake. I mean, I can go on and on and on. So what I'm going to do now it's put it all together so you can have an idea of uh, how it's going to look like I'm gonna take a lot of pictures and then I will show them to you afterwards so please do stop by by her Etsy store and buy this kit this is a T and Twits uh, printable journal kit it's an amazing kit and then stop by my Etsy and get your six die cuts of this and if you want other papers then I'll be able to cut those papers if you want to but this line would look amazing so download it alrighty my friends I hope you have enjoyed this how-to and enjoy the pictures that are coming right up. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, my friends again. This is Gladys with Gladys, Gladys Garden in Heart of a Gypsy. Um, just with a continuation of our um, teapot album. And um, last we spoke, we were, or I was getting ready to um, embellish the album. And as you can see, it's all done. So I just want to give you a kind of a recap of what I've done and what we talked about earlier. Uh, <clears throat> we talked about 
our, cut, our die cuts that you know I have available on my Etsy if you wanted to and then once you have them you want to get your paper once it's cut out either you d either you download yours which I encourage you to do that, download this paper it is just phenomenal it's beautiful uh, so you mud push your page to your um, die cut on both sides so you're going to need 12 of this 6 of this and 12 of these and once you have them um, old um, you know uh, mud push to your page I want to show you the colors that I use that I forgot to mention earlier I used fire brick to do a little bit of a staining you know as you see it right in this area is this or well, this right here I did a little bit this is before you put the mud push over it okay I mean you put the mud push onto your chipboard in order to add your paper once that is nice and dry then you go ahead and distress it and that's the one I use you may want to use another one but I want to show you what I did and then afterwards you're going to use and let me bring this again I mentioned to you this is liquid gold um, it's called Le a liquid leaf and the color is classic gold and you need a very little brush to put that on pardon my hands but they're full of paint I just finished with everything um, <clears throat> so you go through all the edges in order to you know kind of remembering reminiscing on those times in which I mean I got to use tea pods at home and I still do a lot of my tea pods because I'm a tea drinker I'm a coffee drinker but definitely a tea drinker so anyhow I wanted to kind of reminisce into that time um, how the fine china used to have the gold edging and I thought that was very elegant so therefore this paper called for it so after you have you know put on your um, distressing color then you're able to mud push the whole thing on top once you do your etching go ahead and mud push the whole thing so it's nice and sturdy and it has a good luster to it a good look too so now let's get to the embellishments and all the elements that you see are elements that I cut out out of the paper which I shown you before these are you know all the ones that I use uh, I want to bring out where that little girl is at so you guys can kind of see I don't want to make this video you know too too long but it's in there anyhow okay so that one right there um, so I just cut them out fussy cutted them and then on the cover what I did I put the foam dots um, I use this ones, the black ones, little ones, just to kind of pop them out. And this flowers too, I pop them out because the design is on the bottom. So I just cut another paper and put them on top and they end up looking very nicely like a, a 3D and just looks really nice. The cat, obviously he has a crown, so I put it in gold. And I also went with the same gold, liquid gold that I have. I went out and touched everything, even though I went over the whole thing on the outside. Like for instance, all the cupcakes, uh, the her shoe, their shoes, their hats, the bows, and a little bit on the flowers. These flowers, I used some of this, um, uh, what do you call this, um, sparkle glitter glue so that's what I put in there I put some flowers um, I think this one's from Waller craft I could be lying to you I'm not so sure it's been so long this is one of those resin flowers that I made out of my resins that I you know I'm always making so and then I put a little bit of gold on top so it looks really you know you want it to look kind of rich and that's what I, the the look I was going for put some flowers up here fussy cut at this card and put it there and then I put overlay the over the hearts that were on the bottom I just cut another ones and put them on top and look how nice it look I'm gonna move them so you can see the 3d effect right there so I look really nice a little bit of a trim here and I did a very chunky trim over here with different types of laces and I wanted it kind of thick and puffy and that's the way it turned out on the end right here I created a little charm with and let me see if I can get this closer to you. I have a little teacup set here. I have another teapot. This is a um, saucer and plate, I'm sorry. A teapot, another little teapot, and another little teapot. And then all these pearl ones I created, kind of a charming things to put in there in pearls. Because I wanted to bring out those colors. 
Um, I am decorating this book with, um, we are planning one of um, a tea party for my daughter, my little one. It's bronza. And uh, once we have the pictures from that party, this is going to be her album for that. So I thought it would be very appropriate. So quickly I'm going to give you a rundown of what how it looks inside. I just used all the fussy cutting from the same elements from the book and then kind of glue them on one side so that way you are able to put the pictures like that. But then you have those envelopes you can fit up in there. I did this. Let's see. Turn it over here. See this one's right here. This is part of the element. So I just kind of stuck them a little bit on the bottom. And then I put some of my own ephemera of um, anything that had to do with, you know, tea party. I did some of them uh, stamping on some of them. And let's see. Most of these ones will have a little thing that says um, note. Or you can do a little bit of journaling. There's some more pictures in here. And these are all the cards that come with it, okay? Except for this ephemera, this doesn't come with it, but I, that was my own that I put in there. So I'm hoping, you know, once I have the real pictures of my daughter, I'm going to be able to put them um, in place of this ones. Although those are really, really cute anyways. Oops. So each one, I put a lot of little pictures in there. More stamping. And they just kind of fit that, that way. Oops, I just dumped this one. Oh, this one. Yeah, this one goes here. So, all kinds of little ephemera that I put in there. And then I glue all those things in there. Really, it's, it's, it's totally up to you as to how you're going to, you know, decorate this um, whole album. It should be your style. Um, and this one, too, same thing. I made it so, you know, it kind of fits this way. And it just holds on to all the pictures. Same thing over here. You're able to pull it out this way. Why am I fumbling? I'm grabbing the pictures in there. Uh, let's see if this one came out of place. There. Stay there. All right, so same thing. I'm following this and I'm just putting little things in here. And if, you know, I can go both ways. So it's holding here and here on the bottom. Part of the ephemera that comes with it and this is my ephemera and the last page right here same thing there's a nice little teapot that i stamped into it isn't that cute that little dog in there so it's just so darling all right my friends so i've already taken a lot of pictures uh, so you will see that after this little um, video and i sure hope you have enjoyed um, this little tutorial i mean it wasn't it wasn't really, really a tutorial. Let me just set this one properly here. Okay. There. So, it wasn't really, really a tutorial, but I kind of managed to tell you where things went or how to put them together quite easily. Again, this is using, um, you know, the Ephemeris Vintage Garden uh, Tea and Twits uh, journal printable kit. And then... Last but not least, I want to uh, show you, this is the other set. It doesn't come with this set, but it's something that you can add on. You can buy as an add-on. She calls it a mini kit. And look how, this, how gorgeous they are. So you saw all those ones in there. I used them in there. It's cards. You can stamp them. You can journal. You can put a picture on them. You can pretty much do anything you want with them. And then all these other elements too that I was able to utilize into the album. Which this one's I'm going to use it on my next project um, also. So uh, very, very pretty. And it's not, like I said, it's not part of the printable. But you can buy it on the side. And I definitely suggest that you get both of them. Because they're just beautiful and they go so well together all right my friends well thanks so much for stopping by and listening to this little small tutorial and i uh, just want to remind you again this is my dt entry for ephemeris vintage garden using that tea and twits printable kit so don't forget stop by and download it and if you need the teapots dies stop by my etsy and we'll talk to you soon i guess talk to you later take care bye bye